Hey everyone, my name is Steve and welcome to the next in our series of On the Sofa with Servium. Again, we're on our travels. We're at Cisco's UK headquarters in Bedfont Lakes near Heathrow. Today, we're talking about Cisco Meraki and their cloud-based management platform. To help us do that, I'm joined by Alex Pozzi from Cisco. Oh, thank you very much, Steve. Thanks for taking the time to join us. For the benefit of our audience, would you like to explain a little bit about your role at Cisco and how you can, you can help our customers? Of course. So uh, I'm a technical consultant at Cisco. Uh, I've been here for a few years now. And uh, my role is to make sure that I partner up with partners like Servium uh, to deliver the right solutions to our customers. So it's been a while since Cisco um, acquired a Meraki a number of years now, and the, the solutions really to sort of um, focus on sort of cloud management and becoming pretty mainstream now. So for anyone who's not really aware of um, the whole Cisco Meraki proposition, would, would you like just to articulate that for us? Well, of course. Um, so a few years back, uh, as many, one would, uh, many people would appreciate, uh, IT management can be somewhat complex and tedious and time consuming. Uh, the idea is to uh, break all of that complexity for customers, make it quicker, and therefore host it all in the cloud. Um, so instead of having to configure and do everything on-premise for customers, they can enjoy the same technology, the same features, uh, all being pre-configured and dealt with in the cloud. Meraki really made um, some inroads because of its cloud management platform and that whole networking solution, but can you elaborate a little bit further ar around that? Yes, so uh, the idea is to uh, quite uh, remove all of the uh, pain points of uh, uh, managing and deploying IT networks in organizations these days. Um, the customers that are looking to deploy uh, new devices uh, uh, now only have to buy the boxes because it's all cloud-based. Um, so what we mean by cloud-based is uh, we leverage all of the controller systems so you don't have to pre-configure on site to CLI and uh, use very, very complex uh, programming languages. Um, you take it out of the box and you go on the web browser and it's all done in the cloud. So you mentioned cloud uh, platform through web browser, through apps, uh, and assuming it's, it's sort of user-friendly. So from the point of view of an IT management team, a networking team, how simple is it to, to use? Well, very, very simple. In fact, a lot of customers have referred to the first management platform where it's written in English. <laughs> so very easy to access. So from a day-to-day -day management point of view, there's not a massive learning curve really that, that uh, uh, IT professionals have to go through. No, and that's uh, the, been the part of the reason why it's been such a quick take on and uh, uh, continuous growth is because uh, uh, people that have never accessed the dashboard before are uh, easily and quickly able to learn and uh, view their way around uh, all the IT stack quite easily and quickly. So we talk about it being user-friendly, and you know, even I can use it, so that, that shows you how user-friendly it, uh, it is. But the dashboard analytics that, that we talked about uh, and the sort of uh, the representation of the data, um, you know, how is that useful to IT teams? Well, um, if you imagine for IT administrators, whenever they plugged in a appliance in the network, they never knew what was going on behind it. So uh, take a switch, for instance. Uh, uh, IT would never know what is connected to that switch unless they go and physically see it connected to the switch. Within the dashboard, you can see a full reporting of who's connected to it, clients, devices, what applications are being used. And this is all being reported in that uh, single pane of glass. So again, arguably the, the network is going through a lot of change. You know, there's talk about you know, transformation of IT, internet of things, quality of service, gigabit networks. There's a lot of buzzwords out, uh, out there in the sort of network's role in the sort of uh, modernization. So Cisco Meraki Pro provides a huge amount of insight to that, is that correct? Yes, so the, uh, and, you're, and you're right, there's a lot of buzzwords out there, mm. so I can imagine for a customer to try and uh, keep up with mm. them, it can be a day job as well. Um, but uh, Meraki does focus on getting the latest and greatest on their products, uh, things like uh, uh, multi-gig, so the capability of running more than one gig through a uh, traditional Ethernet cable is, uh, is possible. With Meraki, we have our M-Gig switches, our M-Gig access points, uh, even things like uh, adding features such as wireless health uh, or making sure that we have the latest generation protocols running on our products. Uh, we do uh, put all the effort in, in making sure we got those covered for our customers. 
So Alex, naturally being a cloud-based management solution, uh, and again from our own experience, I'm sure we we know how paranoid we get when we we lose that sort of connectivity to all to all our cloud-based platforms. But as an IT manager, I don't want to wake up at night thinking the internet's gone down. How am I going to manage my Cisco Meraki solution? So how do you handle that sort of situation where you lose connectivity? Uh, so with Cisco Meraki, everything goes down. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, but it's thanks to an architecture Cisco Meraki have uh, built, which is uh, uh, called out of band management. Um, so what it means is uh, you lose internet connectivity. The only thing that uh, you won't have access to is uh, management control and configuration. Mm -hmm. However, uh, imagine a site with a warehouse with thousands of uh, barcode scanners. Uh, they will carry on working, mm -hmm. no, uh, no interruption of services, of course. Um, it will only be the reporting in the dashboard will be interrupted because uh, obviously you will need that internet uh, link to be able to go into the data centers and, and provide that information. So that's the only thing that will stop, but your site will carry on working. So it's interesting, you know, sort of uh, from that perspective. But in your opinion, you know, why would an IT team choose cloud-based uh, management uh, solution around networking opposed to a traditional uh, management platform? That's a, a, a very good and fair question. Um, the reason is because we all believe that we can use our time to do better things. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, Meraki are those who uh, really believe in giving time back to their customers to focus on what they're really good at, their mission in their business. And uh, customers choose Cisco Meraki purely because it is a lot quicker to deploy, uh, a lot quicker to uh, configure and set up a site if they need to. Uh, and that's really giving time back to those IT admins. So one of the things I, I love about Meraki um, is the sort of zero touch uh, from a deployment point of view. And yeah. Recently, Serving deployed a, a solution to a large uh, retailer, and we were able to do a lot of the configuration of most of the network before uh, it, it actually arrived on site. So can you really uh, ex elaborate a little bit more on, on that sort of out-the-box solution, if you like. I, I have to admit, it works quite exquisitely with Meraki because uh, uh, we've, we've, I've, I've worked with Cisco many years now and I know as from a customer point that when ordering a product it can sometimes uh, be a bit complex by the time it gets on site and you have to configure it. Uh, with Cisco Meraki, once you've ordered the kit, you get a reference code and with that reference code you can go already in the dashboard and you can start configuring the kit even before it's even less the Meraki warehouses. So when it arrives on site and you plug it into the internet, it automatically downloads that configuration and you're up and live. Sounds to me a little bit like Amazon Alexa, you get it, plug in and, and go really, so it's, <laughs> yeah. it's simple. So that's good from, a, you know, from an, an IT sort of network administrator's point of view, but um, is, there any, is a lot of this sort of stuff you can automate as well? Oh yes, and I wouldn't go out saying it uh, too loudly, especially to the bosses, because I, I'd, I'd like to show uh, that we're always working, and if I tell them that configuring a whole network takes 30 seconds, uh, uh, they'll might just give me something else to do. But um, you get to the point where you can really template your networks in the dashboard, so uh, when you are ready to launch a new site or you're ready to deploy new hardware, uh, you just apply that hardware to a template that you've already pre-configured, and off you go. So in essence, the boss thinks you're busy when you're really just putting your feet up because <laughs> the Meraki solution is doing the, doing the rest. A click of a button. Yeah. Obviously, I, you know, I do the same with my boss, but uh, don't tell him. So we've talked a lot about Cisco and Meraki from a wireless point of view, but what about um, from a, a general network point of view and so on? What, what else is uh, within the Cisco and Meraki proposition that is available and can tie into that cloud management platform? So the portfolio is quite wide. Um, you'll notice that uh, not only the wireless space, like you mentioned, uh, but there's also the enterprise-wide networking side. So the switches, uh, routers and firewalls. Uh, we also have mobile device management. So for those clients that are looking to uh, also manage and troubleshoot their network further into the endpoints, then they can add MDM on their mobile devices. Uh, video surveillance as well is, uh, is another product part of our portfolio. Uh, and last but not least is uh, Meraki Insight, uh, which is a uh, bolt-on product for these uh, firewalls and routers to give uh, in-depth analytics and, and one usage uh, in the network. 
This is quite a, quite comprehensive, really, from a, yes. a general networking point of view. So again, to, in this sort of day, as you, it's sort of security is really, really critical. You know, customers that I talk to on a daily basis, it's their biggest concern. What's keeping them uh, uh, awake at night? So, from a Cisco Meraki point of view, what, how are you addressing that? What sort of security features are built in? So uh, there is a lot of investment uh, on behalf of uh, Cisco Meraki around security. In fact, uh, uh, we do make sure that we have the latest and greatest around security. Um, we even have third party agencies that do penetration testing to make sure your dashboard is always fully secure. So when we're talking about features, it's uh, almost anything going from dashboard security over SSL or two-way authentication, all the way to end-user security as well, because uh, any client coming onto the network it wants to make sure that that uh, device is secure in the network. So we have our IPS, our IDS, our advanced malware protection devices, our URL filtering. So all of that is built in. So you talked a little bit before about CCTV, and, and we know that you know, you're developing all, all sorts of new propositions around CCTV, so it's quite an interesting development. Do you maybe want to talk a little bit more about the whole CCTV uh, solution? Yes, of course, and it's uh, quite frankly uh, breaking the way we used to approach CCTV before because uh, for customers to deploy a CCTV solution, uh, the first thing they'll have to think is where to rack a server, um, the uh, management portal needs to be configured, and it's all costly and time-consuming. Um, with a Meraki video surveillance camera nowadays, all you have to do is plug it in an Ethernet port or via Wi-Fi, it's fully flexible. Um, and the actual data is being stored inside the camera. So the cameras host the video footage, uh, and it's all uh, visible, and m it can be managed uh, through the uh, single pane of glass dashboard. So Alex, thanks for that further insight into the CCTV proposition. And in partnership with Cisco Meraki, we've written a really interesting ebook, which is seven ways to drive more value from your CCTV. It's available to download today from our website. Alex, thank you for taking the time and joining me on the sofa today. Steve, it was an absolute pleasure. And for everyone watching, hopefully you found that of interest today. Keep your eye out for the next On the Sofa with Servium. So for those of you who've seen On the Sofa with Serving before, you know we like to have a little bit of light-hearted humour at the end of our video. So for your benefit, Alex, you've got one minute to answer as many questions as possible, quick fire. I feel under pressure now. You are, really are under pressure. We have a leaderboard as well, so we will <laughs> announce what your score is in a later date, who is the overall winner of Serving Tech Truths. Let's win it. So are you ready? Absolutely. Let's start the clock. Wide or wireless? Wireless. Smartwatch or analog? Analog. How long have you worked at Cisco Meraki? Seven. Alexa or Google Assistant? Alexa. Favourite film? Rambo. Mild or spicy? <laughs> spicy. On the sofa or iNoot? iNoot. Music or podcasts? Podcasts. Do you like to save or spend? Spend. Software, hardware? Software. Cloud or on-prem? Cloud. City or countryside? City. Best superpower? <laughs> Reading minds. Apple or Android? Apple. Laptop or desktop? Laptop. Last gadget you bought? Smart meter for my boiler. <laughs> AI, yes or no? Yes. Call someone or see them in person? Person. Cat or dog? Dog. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Favourite TV series? You've started so you can finish. Uh, I don't have an answer for that one. Okay, we'll pass on that one. Do we have a score? Was 20. 20. Congratulations. Thank we you very much. We will announce the winner in the not too distant future. <laughs> so that's Thank it for today with Serving Tech Truths. Thank you.